Meetings All right, don't now I'll open up the nominations for vice chair. I'll nominate Richard Renew. And I'll nominate David Wood. Oh, I'm sorry, I need a second for Richard. I jump in. Second, Richard. Okay. I'll second Dave. All right. Before we vote, I just want to say one thing to everybody here. I got a call last week from a former selectman, and he made a suggestion to me that he used to be on this budget committee as well, and he said that. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. Don't go there. I don't think so. No. We're in okay. right it now. was. Fine. I'm not going to. I'm not going any further. Then thank you very okay. much. Thank you for appreciate correcting me. No, no, thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that, thank but you. we are going to leave personalities out of this committee this year as, mm -hmm. as hard as we can. Yep. Thank All you right. For it was inappropriate, what transpired over the weekend, okay. and I'm, we both want to leave it there. Okay. All right. So, uh, Richard, having been nominated first, All those. In favor of Richard. Oh, I'm going to give them each a chance oh, you to know, speak. Yeah, that's true. Why don't you go on, on, uh, oh. give both of you an opportunity? If you wish. All right. Uh, this is new this year to do it this way. We haven't done it this way before, so I, I, well, I apologize. As uh, you know, you, you touched on what the functions of the chair are, mm -hmm. and I'd just like to touch a little bit of the functions of the vice chair, mm -hmm. and where I think I've fulfilled those obligations. Uh, the primary purpose of the vice chair is to replace the chair in her absence and to carry on whatever policies or whatever procedures that chair has put forth. In other words, not to, not to uh, take over a coup and run the meeting the way they want. Uh, and to, at that times, uh, probably be a gopher for the vice chair. But I think the, mo the primary purpose is to be sitting here as the vice chair. Now, we have 15 members, and at times, you know, things do get a little hectic, and maybe at times uh, uh, comments or uh, opinions or as we go around the table may be missed or sometimes misinterpreted. And I think having an extra pair of eyes and an extra pair of ears sitting by the chair is an asset to uh, keep the meeting flowing and to maybe at, at times maybe give her a little nudge to uh, put forth some something may, that may have been missed. So I think I have kind of I have fulfilled that obligation and I would hope to continue it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to say, Richard, if um, if I don't get the election and you do, I will not lose any sleep over it because I think you've done a wonderful job and you got my support completely. Um, I throw myself self out there only because um, I think new blood in the town can be good. I'm relatively new to Hampton politics. Um, I have no further ambition. Um, if, if it'll help the board, if I can serve as vice chair, I'd be willing to do it. I didn't seek it. I said I have no desire to seek anything further than that. So um, I can only tell you, um, I, I think Eileen is a great chairperson. Her and I tend to think along the same lines, and um, I would support her in her absence. But again, uh, Rich, you've done a great job, and I'm sure you continue to do a great job. So uh, no problem with that. That's pretty much it. Are we allowed to ask questions of the candidates? Absolutely. I think as we went around and defined the chairman, we're, we might as well go around and define the vice chairman as well, if you gentlemen don't mind. Before we vote. I've got a question for David. I really don't, I know something about you. Why don't you, you, you spend a number of years in state government, right? Um, tell us your a bit most about Most of my you. career I spent working for Verizon. I was a manager for Verizon for 30 years. Um, when I retired from Verizon, I took a job working for the state of New Hampshire's Department of Transportation. I worked in the Human Resource Department. My job was primarily a recruiter, mostly for civil engineers, because the state had a hard time uh, 
requiring sufficient numbers of qualified engineers. Um, I spent seven years in that capacity. It was not only recruiting engineers, it was trying to recruit um, highway maintainers, all aspects of the Department of Transportation. So a lot of my time was spent going out to high schools, going to trade shows, job fairs, that kind of thing. The good thing about it was because I spent so much time working with the civil engineers, I learned a lot about the transportation industry and how important it is for the planning. Um, one thing the engineers taught me was that you, know, you can repair a road for five years and it will cost X dollars, but if you wait a year, it will cost X plus three dollars. Um, so I have an appreciation especially for the infrastructure because 30 years in the telephone company, that's infrastructure. Seven years for the DOT, that's infrastructure. Um, certainly the infrastructure is one of my top priorities. Safety, police, fire, uh, education, obviously. But I'm also, I consider myself a fiscal conservative. Uh, I believe there are, I don't want to be penny wise and pound foolish. The only other thing I could add to that is uh, when I vote here, I vote from the heart. I have no allegiance to anyone. Like I said, I'm new to town politics. I, uh, clear conscience makes for a soft pillow. So that's how I will vote. And choose to select me, that's fine, and if not, I'd be more than willing to support Richard. He's done a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. <laughs> well, now we're going to get into a little ancient history. Uh, I've lived here at Hampton Beach for the past, oh, 20 years or so. Prior to that, I worked for the Postal Service in Central Mass. I started out there as a letter carrier and then moved on into a number of management positions, uh, also acting as postmaster. Uh, in uh, various towns in an acting position, but most of my, my career at the Postal Service was in management. Concurrently, while I was working for the Postal Service, I served for 27 years in the uh, United States Naval Reserve, and I retired from there as a chief petty officer. Uh, since moving to Hampton Beach, uh, I was actually, when we lived in Central Mass, I was involved in, uh, in the town government of the town of West Brookfield, serving on the Board of Health, uh, being a member of a, uh, a, a Heritage Commission, uh, serving as a volunteer fire department member, and then moving on here to Hampton Beach, and when after I retired, I kind of became involved a little bit in the Hampton, Hampton politics. Uh, I served uh, here on the Budget Committee in kind of a couple of broken terms. Uh, yes. I was uh, a number of years ago. Then there was a time lapse where I was not on the committee and then got back on again. <coughs> I am on the Mosquito Control Commission. Uh, I am also the moderator for the Hampton Beach Village District Annual Meeting. And I am now a, also a member of the Hampton Beach Area Commission and serving here as Vice Chairman of the Budget Committee. So I try to get myself involved. I, I probably notice I do appear before the Board of Selectmen on different occasions, uh, expressing my opinion on different things. So uh, I enjoy, I love living here in Hampton, and I enjoy this, the, the participation that I have on this board. Mm -hmm. How long have you been, uh, you've been village district uh, moderator? It's like a town moderator, only for the village district. Well, for the village, I, I long believe it's my fifth year. Is it five years? Fourth or fifth year, I believe. And, and we are having our annual meeting a week from this Friday. So I will be at yeah, that meeting. Agenda, what, how long have you been on the budget committee? Uh, You've been on and off a couple of times. Yeah, a couple of times on and off. Like I say, over on before I yeah. before I ever show up. Over that was over, the, over the course of the the time since I we've here been here in Hampton, I've probably been on the budget budget committee maybe nine or ten years. Again, split terms. Oh, that's right. You didn't get in the time I got in. You're right. No. <laughs> I'm not going to hold that against him, I? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. But he came back to serve us, and, and for that, we always thank you. Uh, no one else does. I would have a question of both candidates. In the event something happened where you had to permanently become the chairman of the budget committee, would you assume that responsibility? I'd like to go first. Uh, tough question. 
Well, well, I don't would, think the vice chair it automatically would be, well, to, does Yes, that, that would be part of my function. I would have to. to become acting chairman until a chairman. I would, yes, I would, ass I would assume the position of acting uh, chairman pending a reorganization or a revote by the members. That's right. May, <coughs> you may choose someone else. Excuse me. But I would be willing and able to take over that position in the interim, interim time. Well, I would modify the question to the extent. If the vice chair, excuse me, gentlemen, based on my original question, became the acting chair and was then nominated to be the permanent chair, what would be both your position on accepting that nomination? Well, if it was the will of the, uh, the majority of the budget committee, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> if that was the the choice of the committee to appoint me or nominate me as a permanent chair, yes, I'd, I'd accept it. Okay. If it came down to a point where I was the acting chair, I would come to the committee and I would ask for other people who might prefer or to volunteer for the chair. If the committee chose me to be the chair, I would do it. I certainly have the time. I'm retired. Um, I love the town of Hampton. So to answer your question, yes, I would if, if the committee wanted me to. Any other questions, gentlemen? Feel confident enough to vote? Make a decision? All right. Madam Chair, are we allowed to vote for ourselves? Yes, you are. <laughs> just, yes, just you, you have so. a personal interest. <laughs> <laughs> None of mine. None of mine is very interest, by no means. I'm glad you asked that. I was about to ask that. Although I, I would say that you're both going to cancel each other out unless <laughs> either one of you is voting for the other. But unless you each agree to abstain. Then <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's, that's no, I, a there's, point. there's no problem with voting yeah. for yourself. Um, I just want to make one, one point. Mm -hmm. Something that I've been thinking about. The, as you've been the chairman for a number of years, you do a wonderful job, but I also happen to know that you have told me that you don't want to be the chair forever. I okay? do. And so the vice chair should be groomed by the chair and gain confidence so that perhaps the next, the following year, the vice chair could be Become the chairman, and then we could consider bringing a different vice chair in. And at that point, we'd start rotating this, so it's not just one person or two, two people that keep being the same positions, because it would give a little different and fresh perspective to the leadership of this board. Now, <coughs> having said that, well, I'd like to agree with you. And and observe that uh, grooming is important, as you said. And uh, we have invested a lot of grooming in Richard. I'd, li I'd like to make one comment. I think that's a replay of what you tried to get by with earlier. Not really? I reject your comments. Um. It was kind of a backdoor. Well, yes, thing it was a backdoor to what you tried to pull a while ago. My only comment is, is if you want to be in that position, then it's up to you, the individual, to come forward and say, hey, can you help me? I'd like to know more about this. Uh, you can also take it upon yourself to be groomed. I mean, either one of these, any one of these people will work with any one of us. If that's mm -hmm. something you want to do in the future, that's... Actually, I don't. No, no, I'm, I don't mean you, 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 but I mean any one of us. Okay. That, you know, they could take that advantage of that. Yeah. Would you guys mind if I just stuck a little bit in here? Go ahead, please. All right, because Stephen's talking a little bit off personal conversation I've had, but I've had it with a lot of you. Um, this position is not elected for life. It, it does need to transfer from one person to the next. And it is good to have people who are interested. It's not always assumed always assumed that the vice chair will go to the chair but certainly for those who would like to lead I'm certainly open to having you pay attention to what it, it is to actually sit here and, and take on the obligations and the responsibilities that it will take um, I'm 
profoundly moved tonight by the vote, and I want to thank you all. But I do think in, in years to come that it will be time to move on to someone else because it's the only way you, you put some new juice into things. All right? Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. You know, just, just to kind of touch on this thing called law, you know, I tend to do that. The law requires us to vote for a chairman. Um, the law doesn't say anything about the existence of a secretary or a vice chairman, for that matter. Uh, but, but traditionally, there is a vice chairman of committees, so you know, we kind of sort of do it. How we define that role, I would imagine, is entirely up to the committee. I mean, in theory, if you want to call for rotation, we could rotate Richard and David each meeting, or every other month. I mean, there's lots of ways of doing rotation. Uh, <coughs> so that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I, I hate to see, you know, I mean, they, they both have a chance to groom that way. And with the redundancy, maybe if one of them dies, we still have one. You don't agree not to fly on the same plane. I recommend you be the first one. I, I like that. I like that idea very much, Tim. That's actually well, a we very that good chair, solution. Too, you know. <laughs> no, but it's a very good solution. It, it's a solution. Well, actually, because we see how we interact during the meetings, we get a sense of who we think would be a good chair. In fact, Elaine ran for. Otis Luckman this time, if she had won a seat, she wouldn't be the chair, so. That's quite true. Mm -hmm. So clearly she doesn't em want the position for life, so. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it would be uh, traditionally. Why don't, we, we, why don't we vote and move Traditionally on. we hire the vice chair for the, the same term as the chair, and if we're going to do that, then we're going to have the vote. If not, we're going to have to have a discussion about how we want to change the role of the vice chair. I mean, it's not my call, and I'm just throwing it out there. If there's oh, a you reorganize every year anyways. Rotate, so. that's what I'm saying. That's what we're doing. We're reorganizing it the way you want to see it, knowing that this shouldn't be one person forever, well, and that we do need to share. And somehow, when you share, you, you got to take. When you say you want to share and you want to be here, you got to take on some of the obligations that <coughs> this entails. Mm -hmm. So that being said, I would move to formally. M motion that the vice chairs alternate as suggested I will by second that. I think it's an so excellent idea. We still have a motion well, on the floor. Well, you have a motion yeah. on the floor. Yes. Okay. No, we so don't have a motion. We just have nominations. We have a nomination. Not a motion. It's just nomination. Well, now we have a motion on the floor. Right. And no, I second that. I'm just okay. want to write that down. So what, what your motion is, to be clear, is that we have two nominees, and your motion is to rotate, rotate each of the nominees. Every other meeting. Every other meeting. Okay. Thank you. Every other meeting? Yeah. I like that idea. That's a good yeah. idea, Tim. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, yeah. I try. It mm -hmm. doesn't always work. <laughs> 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 they, don't they don't preside. No, that's great. Very so rotating doesn't that. mean anything. So. No, it gives each an opportunity to grow. Well, one I of think them would the preside if, if I were not here. <laughs> And okay, the presiding okay. one would be whose ever turn it was. Was to yeah, be the preside, which we would have to schedule and I put like on that. the schedule for the coming year. Mm -hmm. Or if one of you wasn't solution. available, I'm sure we can work it out. We don't have to make it mm -hmm. tensely difficult. No. I guess I let's ask both of these gentlemen. If they'd like would you be willing to rotate, David? Uh, but I'd like to make an amendment to the motion. Let me hear the oh. amendment. What's that? I'd like to hear the amendment. Uh, my amendment would be, I think, Every other meeting is a little too frequent. Mm -hmm. I think that you know to jump in and out every other meeting. My suggestion would be maybe like every three months or every oh. quarter. Oh, once a year, right? right. I'll tell you why. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't meet that off. We have to nominate our own again. Well, I, I think that I'm just going to put my two cents into this. Okay, we don't have an even operating year. All right. We have times of the year where we do relatively nothing, and we have times of the year where it's fast and furious and a yeah, couple have of four nights meetings in week. one month. I, I would say the only th way I could see this yeah. working is with a schedule of rotation. We have the time. And either that or we go back to what we had with the vice chair. Are you saying every other meeting? Yes. 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 Which rotation is every other meeting. month. And quite every honestly, meeting. Every that other meeting. That's that all there is to it. It's the easiest, it's the easiest way. To I agree it. with Bob. I mean, if we're going to do a rotation of that nature, it would have to be That's every other meeting. It's the easiest way to do it. To it's work. Very uncomplicated. Well, I'd like to uh, just expand on my motion for a second here. When we get into the, you know, the really uh, digging down into the budget, uh, our meetings <coughs> are more frequent than once a month. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> and so, 
Uh, on a Tuesday night, I'm going to be vice chair. On Thursday night, he's going to be vice chair. That's exactly the following how it Tuesday, right. I'm vice. Right. Yeah. And, and, and looking <coughs> ahead to what is projected for the following meeting, I don't know. It's not uh, out to do. It's very simple, really. Well, well both of you will be doing, will be projecting. We should all be projecting. I mean, more. what everyone does Every not member. realize is that even though we move meetings this year, and we had to shift them to the dates three times because of snowstorms. Those meetings that we shifted them to were all pre-scheduled. I pre-scheduled them. So I wasn't fishing for a date. Those dates were already on that. So logically, if we had to shift a date, whosever day that was in the schedule moves with the meeting. I'm just saying, I don't want to make this too complicated. Mm. We don't need to spend an hour on Every how Every other meeting is about, about as complicated as you want to get. Yeah, you exactly. Uh, would you be willing to do that, Richard? I just think it's a little more, it'd be more cumbersome. All right, That's so you're saying, you're to, saying to, to Richard's point, too, is to have the agenda also contained. See, when you get between, you know, if it's we had a meeting on Tuesday and we get a meeting on Thursday, and somehow the meeting, the agenda changes for whatever reason, you know, sometimes we've said, okay, the fire department wants to come here, the police department. Here's the thing, it though. It doesn't give them much chance to know ahead of time. Brian, here's the thing. All of you should be prepared at all times? Oh, no, no, I don't Everything disagree with that. that. I'm just agenda. going back to Richard's point right. of it might be a little hot on but them. The whole purpose of this is if I'm not here, mm -hmm. somebody needs to chair, and for that, you may not get any notice. What if, I mean, I've had pretty good attendance, you got to admit, guys, yeah. but what if something happens to me? I can get sick. I can fall down, all right? I cannot be here for any anything instantly like that. Now we're before and call. Hey, somebody's got to do it with the meeting tonight, because so I can't be here. Well, right. we'll know. That's, 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 that's what this is about. Exactly. exactly. And we'll know the how issue, easy it the is. The issue now. right now is the motion. In order for it to be effective, it's based on the two nominees being willing to participate in that operation. If one or both are not, then the motion is going to be not effective. We'll just have to vote on one person for the, you know, in the traditional fashion. Right. So that's why I was asking Richard if you would, would be willing to do that, and I was asking David the same thing if you'd be willing to rotate in that manner, because you both need to agree to that in order for us to do it. Well, actually, it'd be the consensus of the board to decide no. whether or not uh, you want to set the policy of the vice chairman rotating. Mm. Are you Whether we wish are you comfortable to or with not. That? Are you com well, we're going to vote on it. Are well, you comfortable with that? Let's back am I up a Are you saying, am I comfortable with the rotation system of every yes. other meeting for the vice chair? Yes, because my vote on this motion is going to be affected by your answer and David's answer. Oh. What's our second on the motion? I'll yes, I seconded it. Awesome. Uh. Well, I guess, all right, first of all, I'll have to withdraw my amendment. Yeah. Well, actually, we never voted on it anyway. Well, right? We haven't uh, voted yet. My only additional comment might be if it were tried for three months and it became unworkable yeah. we could revisit it exactly well, I, I, I there's a committee we could revisit we're, we're these making it far at any too time. complicated uh -huh. gentlemen and in, the, in truth we're making it far too complicated mm -hmm. because we have two good gentlemen that yeah, can it's, both it's serve us well it's pretty simple it's pretty well, simple why don't All we right. vote on the motion okay so before we vote on the motion you came out with an amendment well, I withdraw the You just withdrew it. All right. There I was no second to that. There was no second. So okay. So that no failed for lack of right. second. Just as a comment, I don't, I don't think Richard's comfortable with it, so I cannot support the motion. Okay. Well, let's vote on the motion. So the motion is to rotate the position of the vice chairman every other meeting. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So I guess we're ready for a vote. Okay. All those in favor? And post. Okay. All right. So well, wait a minute. Uh, let's. I got to go back here, be, just in case we don't get this recorded. All right. Uh, those let's go back to the motion to. Uh, those in, in favor? favor. Okay. Was Bob? Oh, Stephen. Uh, we're me. gonna start around here. Uh, That's all you need. Bob Ladd, Steve LeBranch, Woods, There's four of us. Woods, David Wood, Latimer. and Eileen Latimer in favor. Everyone else is opposed. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are back for one person. We now have. We have the call for the vote on the nominees. Yes. Okay. And the first nominee was. I was saying we were back to make it clear that we were, were choosing one right. person. 
I assume we're going to vote on the first nominee. Yes. Or, okay. So that motion failed. Oh. The rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So since Richard was put out there first, everyone in favor. Seconded by Bob Ladd. Mm -hmm. Everyone in favor of Richard. And okay. All those in favor of David Wood. No. Thank you, both of you. Well, I was abstaining. You were abstaining. Yeah. What's the tally? <laughs> you made the motion, didn't you? Or you made the nomination? I'm no, I made the nomination. He just couldn't. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's appropriate five. for me as five and four commissioner in the district to yeah. vote with the moderator. Sonny Crabbe, you're very consistent with yes. the law in the matter. I'm sure you're being a lawyer. I, I am very consistent, not just the law. Consistent, Sonny.